Hi, I'm Dr. David Bilstrom. I'm the medical director of the International Autoimmune Institute at Bingham Memorial Hospital. Now in our previous installments, we talked a lot about toxicity, whether it's toxicity that comes in from the outside in our quite toxic world nowadays, but also every cell in our body makes toxic byproducts metabolism every day that we have to get rid of. Uh, a good example I like to use is carbon dioxide. Now most toxins that are produced internally or that come in from the outside have to leave through the gut. Now there are some toxins we get rid of through breathing, peeing, or sweating, but most of them we have to get rid of through the gut. So a good example of these internally generated toxins is oxygen. We need oxygen. We're going to die without oxygen. The toxic byproduct metabolism is carbon dioxide. It's going to kill us if we don't get rid of it. So we have all these toxins that get produced that have to get out of the body. When the gut's dysfunctional, or we do not have the nutrients we need to drive our detox pathways, we tend to accumulate toxicity. And with that accumulation of toxicity comes a big driver of these autoimmune diseases. Now, sometimes tests are done for toxicity, hair samples, blood samples, things like that. The test we tend to like to do is what they call a provocative heavy metal test. It's hard to test for these toxins in the body with the type of tests we have to really find them if you don't do something to mobilize them out of the fat stores and then test them. Typically, if toxins are water soluble, we're just gonna pee them out. It's really the fat soluble ones that are problematic. They get into our fat stores and leach out slowly but surely every day, just driving the body crazy, throwing off the immune system, etc. So with the provocative heavy metal test, we use a chelating agent that's gonna mobilize the toxins out of the fat stores and get them into the urine. Now, there's tens of thousands of environmental toxins that can get in and drive the body crazy. You can't test for all of them in the clinical setting. But we really don't have to. If you're having a hard time getting rid of the heavy metals, you're going to be having a hard time getting rid of other toxic agents as well. The heavy metals tend to be particularly bothersome to the body. Things like lead, mercury, cadmium, nickel, cesium, those kind of things. Now, lead and mercury typically never leave the body through the urine. So if you ever do a urine test for those, you're not going to find them unless they're attached to an agent that actually gets out through the kidneys and comes out of the urine. The provocative heavy metal test uses a healing agent that actually binds blood and mercury so you actually can test for them in the urine. Now in blood testing for these heavy metals, you have to have a very high level to ever detect them. You could have levels that are very problematic for the body, but you're really not good to find them on a, a traditional test. With the provocative heavy metal test, you're really going to be able to see what's in there, what's driving the body crazy, and how much. And then we can use this test to see how successful we are when we try to get rid of these toxins over time. In parting, I'd just like to say, please remember, your body is always ready to heal. It just needs to be given a chance. Bingham Memorial Hospital. Experience Bingham.